All right, we're about to start here in the in the 10K horse. Look who it is! Hey, Bill Ivy, what's up, buddy? Uh, what do you what do you, you show up today too? Uh, Busy, uh, tired? Yeah, it's all good. Gotta give you a little spot. Give you a spot. You did. I got you. I got more than you. <laughs> Let's go. So, you know, before you know it, the World Series of Poker will be over in a flash. It's it's amazing how time flies when you're going through it. Um, I've had a blast this year so far. I know the results, overall results don't look great, but that's, you know, again, high roller related. But um, I still feel like there's magic to be had. Uh, I feel like something clicked for me, uh, partly from watching, honestly, a little bit of the 50K. Poker Players Championship, watching Ivy, watching Rasty, watching Josh, and uh, just remembering um, sort of that extra killer gear, right? And what it takes to be a killer. And that when I'm at my best, I can also be a killer. But if I'm not fully there, fully present to everything that's going on, you know, you're giving up more than you maybe know, maybe more than you realize. So, um, like, it's weird that, unfortunately, I feel more engaged and in tune with this 10k horse than i did with the 50k the poker players championship partly because of fatigue partly because it's playing online uh whatever it was but right now i don't know it feels like something clicked we got a good stack going into day two happy about that now we got to figure out the weather is so nice right now it's crazy we got to figure out how to get there because today's a saturday i believe and traffic on weekends on the regular like last night i went on a freaking i went on a what i do i went on a wild goose chase to find an open road i was stuck bumper to bumper a lot of the way i'm thinking what i'm thinking is maybe doing uh, driving to valley view cutting across the desert inn desert inn crosses over the strip take it to paradise come <laughs> why am i going every time and then come back up uh harman towards the back end that's one option. Because if I go my normal way, I mean, either way, we're gonna, we're leaving an hour early. It's supposed to take 17 minutes to get there, so we should be fine. In the meantime, got the water, got a little sun, get some vitamin D. Very important, by the way. If you don't get vitamin D at all, you should take vitamin D. I'm not saying this is a, I'm not your doctor, but like vitamin D, bro. Vitamin B12, vitamin D. I don't give a shit what you eat. Get you some vitamin D, some B12. Take it from Doctor Dean Eggs. Paula, where's your brother? Where's your brother? Over there? Where? What you doing, buddy? What are you snooping around doing over there on that side of the, the, of the backyard? Oh my God, you're not even supposed to be jumping. Doctor's orders, and you just did that. You know that's like against the rules, right? But he's doing so much better with his back. I mean, ever since... Where are you going? Are you going inside? You done? Hey, I'm talking to you. Paulo. <laughs> he's a little chunkier. So he didn't like to stay outside as long, but he's debating. What are you doing? Oh, hold on. What are you doing? You want a belly rub maybe? How about that? Oh, well, maybe not. You're good, chilling here in the sun. Yeah? You? What about you? You have no idea what you want to do, do you? Huh? Just sit right there. Okay, cool. And mope. What do you, I know he probably wants some F-O-O-D or some T-R-E-A's and, what you doing, buddy? What you doing, you little cute bugger? Hmm? Yeah, you love that. Likes his ears touched. All dogs do. Don't ya? Get a little sun. I don't know why I just did this, but I did. I was on, uh, I saw, you know, on Twitter, Alan Kessler sent me a link. He said he's doing a Twitter space. So, Twitter space. So, he's hosted a Twitter space with some guy named Poker Pro Eric. And I was like, all right, I'll jump in for a minute. I jumped in for, say, 20 minutes. And uh, it was a reminder just in 20 minutes of how me talking as an introvert which surprises many of you I know drains me so I was like okay I gotta get out of there we gotta focus on what we gotta do today which is shut the hell up keep our head down all business baby all business I want to continue along the trend of what we developed yesterday in terms of a mindset and a focus and just really like um 
paying attention to the hands people turn over. Because in mixed games, like sometimes it's very easy for people to just tune out and do your own thing because you don't think you're missing much. It's just a hand, right? But what you miss often if you're if you're doing that is even if it's like say a, a guy plays a hand in Omaha 8 or Raz, what he does in that hand or she can give you information about how they think about poker and how they're gonna play other hands. Namingly, specifically this. Imagine in a spot in a Holden game or Omaha, or whatever. They check back like a really strong hand that they absolutely should have been, right? So it was a very like a weak check. Well, now you can classify that in the weak category. All right, so this guy's kind of weak. So if this guy three bets me or if this guy bets, like that's going to be strong or polarized or something like that. So not having that information because you're on your phone, you're not paying attention or you're chit-chatting and stuff like that can cost you in terms of the exploits that you want to make, right? You can just play poker and be like, okay, I'm going to do the optimal thing. But like you can take these shortcuts. You can, you know... Um, make these exploitative folds. Like, I mean, against this one guy, because I knew he was playing for Nunez, I raised with seven, seven, eight and stud. A hand I would normally, you know, if I, a guy with a queen behind me, three bets, I'm going to call and continue all the way. Or not all the way, but for a little bit. I'm not folding on, you know, to the raise because, uh, you know, a normal player in stud is going to have not just the queen, but they'll have ace, king, queen, they'll have three hearts, they'll have all kinds of stuff. So you would defend. But I know this guy's got queens. I get out of the hand. I mean, it helped that there was an eight out or two. Um, eight or two but anyway point being getting reads on how your opponents think will help you get extra value with some thin hands and also help you to save some bets here and there in spots that are um close yeah and that's really it right limit poker and that's again just sort of what it was like just the 50k it all light bulb i'm like i watch ivy i watched ashton i watched rasty i'm like they're grinding out every bet you know that's what i gotta do i gotta be a killer so we're gonna kill today Okay, so we've made it to the steam room in record time. It's only 12.30. We left at 12. Good to go. Took the regular route. Um, been thinking. We want to do some... I want to do a giveaway. I want to give you all some underwear. Okay? You need some underwear. You got the nuts. We got the big stack. We got freaking pocket aces. We got we got everything, y'all. We look at that. All the underwear, right? I'm going to send a pack of four, okay, to whoever in the comments. We'll pick, a, we'll pick a comment. We'll pick a comment. How about that? We'll pick a comment down below. Let me know from this year's vlog, what has your favorite moment been so far? What is the one thing that sticks out to you that you love the most? Whether it's the chainsaw corner, you tell me. Let me know in the comments down below, and maybe you will get to wear the same underwear as I do. <laughs> All right, getting ready. It's 10-2. I realize we're going to have a teensy-weensy little bit of an issue today uh, that I didn't think about. We are over in Horseshoe. Usually the day twos of the 10Ks I thought were here um, in the purple section at Paris, but apparently no. They're at the Horseshoe. So what's the issue? Well, there's a break every 90 minutes great. The break is only 10 minutes on day two. So that means getting from the horseshoe here, which takes about three and a half to four, which means run our ass over here, grab a snack, grab a coffee, run right back. Not a lot of downtime there. Um, but that's okay. You know, that's just okay. I'm going to hang out here as long as I, yeah, I'll just grab, I got pizzas in there. I, a coffee doesn't take long. Maybe I'll bring my stuff because they don't, yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. All right, here's our starting table for day two. We got the man, the myth, the legend. We got Jeff Madsen as well. So we're gonna have the, we're gonna start the discussion by discussing, discussing whether or not birds are truly real. Birds are real. Birds are real. Okay. No. Are birds real? Birds, because I've been seeing some shit lately where there's plenty of evidence, bro. There was a bird hanging up in the sky, you know. Birds. No, they're cyborgs created by a government operation in 1962. Look it up. No, it was 1980. It was the Reagan administration. Nice. Get your facts 62 right. 62 is when they created the prototype and the blueprint, and then later Fair on enough. is when they created the first. So, uh, what percentage of birds are real now? I think it's like only 8 to pigeons 10. are actually real. It's pigeons weird. are real. What do you think? I mean, have you seen a real bird? Have you touched a real bird? All the guts you see on the floor, manufactured AI stimuli stuff. Okay, we're gonna have fun today. 10k horse. <laughs> All right, we're about to start here in the, in the 10K horse. Nick, Nicky G showed up. Hello, Look Hello, who it is! Hey, Bill Ivey, what's Hello, up, buddy? Good luck, everyone. You didn't win Shuffle the 50K, up, man. Man. No. But yeah, you died. We did get a good clip from you. 25 years, Phil. 
the same fucking speed. It's actually 22 here. 22? Because you haven't been around 25. Yeah. We're close, but not quite close. close. Right. What do you, you show up today too? No, Busy, not. tired? Yeah. It's all good. I gotta give you a little spot. <laughs> give me a spot. You did. I got chips. I got more than you. <laughs> Let's go. Horsey, horsey. Feel Ivy. Let's go. All right, we're gonna have to step away from the table for just a minute. We're almost through the stud eight or better round. We played Omaha eight, we played Raz, we played stud, and now we're almost done stud eight. We've been playing for o over an hour, and I swear to you, I'm not, like this is in Mike Mattis, I'm saying, I haven't won, I literally have not had one single hand go where I've pulled chips out. I've lost every hand. Good news is I only played one Raz pop where I had uh, ace, deuce, three, six, eight, and lost to a better eight. And then um, one just now in stud eight where I had deuce, three, six, seven of diamonds. And I made king high <laughs> in stud eight. So not the ideal start. The good news is, you know, we came on day one. We got ourselves a stack so we can rebound from this run. But, yeah, I mean, hopefully we win a pop before this level's up. But that's it's an hour and four minutes now. And we're still off the board. Not even a chop. Not even an anti steal. Nada. All right. Everybody can attest. I have not dragged a single chip. And I'm literally all in here and hold them. And he has ace queen. Okay. I, this, this is my first opportunity to maybe win a chip. All in. Okay, hold. What oh, the f***, dude? <laughs> I swear I played an hour and 20, didn't win one single chip, and just got river with an ace. How the f*** did that just happen? Holy shiznit. Wow. I guess shocked. 160k, 20 big bets. Played Omaha, not a pot. Raz, not a pot. Stud, not a pot. Stud eight, didn't... No, I'm not, when I say not a pot, I didn't even, like... Have everyone fold to me. I didn't raise and take it. I lost every single pot I played, and I didn't even play many. I played like five or six. Holy shit, that was unexpected. 90 minutes, 80 minutes, not one chip drag. Whoa, bro. Well, I'm not, I mean, that was just powerless. Nothing you can do with that one. That one was very annoying. Now we're going to chill out and figure out what's next. I can't believe it. 163K playing fucking four and eight, 20 bets, and I didn't win a chip? Deuce three, six, seven of diamonds and stud eight. King Jack of clubs against whatever. King Jack in limit hold'em. What did I even get? Never had anything. <laughs> wow, I'm out? Really? Seems impossible. So I'm gonna be doing some giveaways all summer, but you can't win unless you're a subscriber. So please do me a favor, click the subscribe button down below. Okay, it's 3 p.m. now. It's a little chilly in the room for some reason. I don't know. Some days it's colder than others, but today, Okay, we gotta figure out what to do today. I really don't know. Um, have not decided. It's, there's a, the Millie Maker day two, which we sort of talked about. We've done really well in these big field events. Um, they're a grind, right? But, uh, you know, we're obviously good at it. Good practice for the, for the main event. Then you've got 2 p.m. start for the $1,500 stud eight. Which, again, the 1500 is, I get it. We were talking about it at the table. A lot of the 10K guys hate the $1,500 structures. I don't, I wouldn't go that far. I mean, they're not for me, so I don't like them because they're too slow. And that's the problem that they, as those guys have with them. It takes like two full days to get to the money. But again, different. You want to make sure that the World Series structures and <clears throat> offerings and are catering to the people, right? So $1,500 players, they want more play early. Whatever, you know, give them what they want. I don't like it for me, but it's not for me. Um, but I love stud eight. It's, you know, my favorite game in the mix. Like I said, we got the Millie Maymaker. And then, of course, tomorrow, we've got a 25K PLO. If we play the Millie Maker, that would mean sleeping here because of a 10 a.m. restart for the day two. I don't know. I really don't. This is one of the few times where I'm going to need a moment, need to think about it. I've been perusing Twitter here and there. I don't know why. I don't know why we ever go on that social media. You see the worst in people. You know, even assholes. Like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, see, so just whatever. Anyway, got to figure out what we're going to do here. Take our time. Still in shock, frankly, that I'm not in the 10K horse. I was expecting a long, deep grind in that tournament. And oh my God, nothing I could have done. It's amazing that my chips lasted that long. And it's only because I really didn't get any hands to play. And the few that I did, I didn't get any chips back. All right, I just had a nice, we was just having a little chit chat with Brian Rast, who said he's on his way to go play the 1500 stud eight, and that it's one of his new favorite games. And you know what it reminded me of? It is my favorite game. So what the hell am I thinking about here? Are you kidding me? 
Millie Maker when I could jump in and play some Stud 8? That's the play. $1,500 Stud 8. They're going on break here in about 10 minutes. So we'll hit in at 420 with a coffee. See Rasty over there. Um, uh, yeah, see, you know, if he's going early, we're, we're going to go early. I don't know. 1500 I'm surprised he's showing up so fast, but, you know, he's big time. Just won the freaking PPC three times. That's amazing to me. I don't know. It's amazing, frankly, that that event has been going on not that many years, but two people have won it three times, and one person won it twice. That's in, that's really amazing. It kind of just shows true, like, how skillful the event is, and, um, you know, some of the best won it. I haven't. I came fifth. It's the best I've done, I think. Cash like three, four times. I don't know. But the stud eight, you know, let's let's have some fun. Plus, I really don't want to do a 10 a.m. restart here for five days in a Millie Maker. I've played enough of those No Limits, and it's a grind. Again, it's good practice, but I feel like I've got plenty. Let's play stud eight or better. Okay, I'm not fucking with you, all right? I just sat down and stud eight. John, I played the first hand. I raised with an ace with seven, eight in the hole. It was out on four street. Ace over there, three over there. I caught a nine. Just now, limped with the nine. He, I told him it's eight or better. I said eight. He slipped with the nine. He limps with the king. What do I got? Ace, ace, four. Looks pretty nifty. What did I get by the end? Stugat. So we've moved on to a new tournament. We still have not won a, won a, won a single chip. I'll let you know, you know, when that happens. Because I believe that eventually, today... There will be a pot we at least get a quarter of. At least a quarter. Like, it's hard to get a quarter, but, it, you know, we're going to get at least a quarter of a pot. I'm, I'm, I, have, I have faith. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Look what I started with. A nine and a three and a seven of hearts. Made a pair of sevens. They all folded. Let's go, baby. We're on the board. We're on the board. I won an Annie. I, I did. I did. I won the Annie's. They folded. Ha! <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Let's freaking go. Woo! You like how I played it? It's pretty sick, huh? Oh, just wow. Like, just like you did our video. Like a genius. <laughs> All right. Look, we won a little. We won the Annie's. All right. Yeah. Got 11-2. Start with 25. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I did finally win one pot where I didn't split it. I had aces up. But uh, it's been blah. Just lost the pot here. Blah. I think it was okay, but I don't know, it was close. Maybe I could have folded on five. Nah. Meh. On four. <laughs> I'll think about it. Maybe maybe we'll do an oops meter, but I don't know. Probably doesn't matter that much either way, especially with the. No, never mind. I got a call. Forget it. No oopsie meter. We good. But we're not good in this tournament. So I'm deflated after the horse. It's hard to feel like, you know, with this 1500, I'm like, I'm not, you know, just going through the motions a little bit. But there's some bad play happening around me. I just feel so hard. Wow, we just, yeah, just never have anything. Yeah, blah. Because you know, baby, the, the, the people, they, they don't know who the Prince of Poker is. Oh, oh, hi. You know, baby, I, do, I, do, I, do, I, do, I don't even see you there, baby. What's going on? We got Scotty, the Prince of Poker. Playing a little stud eight with Millie Maker. No, stud eight. Stud eight. You? You know, stud eight. I play with the people. Have some fun. What are you drinking? Nothing good. Oh, no more drinking baby. or drinking, no Michelob? More drinking. No more Michelob? No. Nope. You want, you got a sponsorship for Michelob. I'm the first poker player to get a yeah. sponsorship with anything. They used to send him cases. Man. What's up? Did you gang? Did you gang? Did you gang? We got this guy. So you you here to play the main event, the whole thing? Yeah. You looking good, baby. You know it, baby. You know? <laughs> What's up? We're playing a little stud eight. Back from break. That's right. <laughs> Let's take a look at the stack here. All right? This is where we start singing. Swing low, sweet chariot. I don't know where my chips have gone. A little over here, a little over there. <laughs> There's not much left. Just not right here, here we go. Swing low. Yo, here she comes. You're all in. You're you're all in. What are you doing over here? She's all in. What am I gonna do? There's nothing to do. She's all in a pot right now. Come on, baby. 
Let's go. Let the good times roll. I'm having a blast today. Wow, man. Looking good. What the? Finish that sentence. Scooby Doo. Oh, Scooby Doo. Thing. <laughs> yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> At least we're getting a massage. But this could be an early night. I, I don't see. I don't see any part of me that wants to get in that Millie Maker. If we don't spin this up, 25k PLO dominate. Wow, man. Okay, that last ten was indicative of the entire day. That first four, all in on Fourth Street, with four cards: low, two, three, one, right, two, three, five, eight. Guy has a pair of eights or something. So with that hand, you want to catch, I don't know, a queen, a jack, and a nine, probably. That's I think what ideal. Wow, today was like surreal, bizarre. Just gonna chalk it up to like holy shit, card dead, and just didn't win any hand. I can't remember. Like such a I played two tournaments, didn't win any hands. I could jump into the Millie Maker right now. But I don't feel it, man. Not today. I don't I don't want to be stuck in that thing, even though we've been doing good in those. I really want to be able to give a 25k PLO like a strong, solid effort. Because that 10k didn't go as planned. Question is what time do we show up? Starts at noon with 300 big blinds deep, which is crazy. You got two rebuys available in that one. You can reg until day two, like 2 p.m. So I'm thinking we'll probably target around two, just like get there for level three. And if not, you know, if we feel ready to go at noon, we'll do that, but we'll see. No rush. Just have to shake blah, 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 whatever that was off. Not even angry, just like bored out of my mind. It was like, how you doing, bud? Um, just bored out of my mind. It's like, never won a hand. It literally didn't win a hand in the horse. And won one pot in the study. Chopped a couple small ones. Won one Annie. Whee! That was fun. Not. Little late night walk for the puppies. They love it. Take them on a long one. Get some relaxation and time in with the wife who's painting. We'll take you there in a moment. All right, so feeling good about being home, feeling good about my decision not to play the Millie Maker. Uh, I just know that if I went there, I wouldn't have, I was in a miserable mood, as you could tell. Just was, I wasn't winning any hands. And really in the back of my mind is this 25K PLO. And I know what happened last time when I was in one of them big field events and busted, took an hour, jumped in the PLO. So this way we can get a good night's sleep tonight and then start fresh. Um, either, like I said, I mean, being there at 12 is not that important, especially with two rebuys, but we'll be, we'll be there either 12 or two. We're going to choose there. And tonight, get some QT in with the wife. All right, we got the, what do you call a female painter? A paintress? A paintress? I don't think there's a difference. You're grinding, huh? You sexist. Oh, pfft. So, the, so the people can't see it yet, right? Because it's not done? It's not even close. No, okay. So... What is that? Is that the same one or is it a different one? Because that looks like a sun drop. Oh, it's a different one. Yeah, that, so it's just the take over took the place. What happened to the seven up can? I threw it out. Holy oh, smokes, what is your deal? Throwing them out every day. Let's so, drink. so question. One, number one, A, I see that you're grinding. If you're still grinding super hard, I respect that. Yeah. But if not, I was wondering if you'd like to continue watching the Kardashians. Yes, we'll do that. Okay, in a bit in or like five, ten minutes. Okay, take your Why, time. Do you have things to do? No, I'm, I can do whatever you want. Oh, that's nice. I mean, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for you. That's nice. That light, like, you'll, shines in your eye. Like, you'll it's be fine. home, like, five seconds, and you'll go again. So. Yeah, but I'm going to be here now for the rest of the night. Out. Okay, we can hang out. And we'll watch Kardashians, and we can eat bad food, and I don't know. Yeah, what bad food? I don't know. We'll have to order mm. something nasty. Sorry, I got you the wrong milk. It's okay. I told her to get me some unsweetened soy milk. I had one job. What, you had one job. job. She got almond milk, but the, oh, there's nothing wrong with that. I got almond milk instead of soy. I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't sleep last night. I funny. noticed that you were in the closet all night. <laughs> That's just as people don't know. Like when she's can't sleep because she's got insomnia. Yeah. She goes and lays in the on the floor in the closet. It's a room though. It's not like a little room. It's a big. Closet. It's, it's, it's a, a big, big closet. Room, it's a big closet. I know. It's like a safe space to like. You need a safe breathe. space. I yeah. need a safe space. Safe space <laughs> when I offend you. You do offend me every single oh, yeah. day. Yeah, so you, you never get offended by anything. No. You only get offended by assholes in the comments who say stupid shit and About you want to kill them. Normally. That's true, yeah. 100%. She's very protective. loyal, protective. That's yeah. that's a thing, for sure. I know. Someone 
said that the other day. Someone said that I was loyal and someone else said something mean. They like laugh. They go, loyal? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about, guys? Just give him one of these. Yeah, that's it. Off. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that's going to be our night. We're going to... Let's watch. Yeah, we're going to watch some stuff. Okay. Chill with the people. Say hello to... Uh, guys, to uh, people? You mean the dogs? Well, I meant this one right here, Angela chill Davis. Chill with the puppies. Chill with the pups. Let's chill with the pups. Yeah. Okay. Good night, y'all, from Casa Dinegs.